Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, I wanted to make a, not a residential rental, but a tiny home that is only 15 tiles. There's nothing that made me think this. I was just like, oh, maybe I can make a tiny home that's just 15 tiles. So I haven't thought about how this will look, but we could easily do like a three by five and that would easily be 15 tiles. But I don't know, I don't think that's interesting just because it's a box. So I guess we could technically add a bump out here and that's 15 and honestly that could just be the bathroom or the bathroom could be smaller than that technically because I have made a one by two work before and then maybe in this little corner we could put a bed and nightstand we could have like a small little kitchen so I think we're gonna turn the house around like this and this is where you walk in at so this could be the roof which honestly I'm not a fan of I really wish this would be the front that being the front would be better for us for this to work I think I'll put walls right there just to make the roof a little bit Bit more interesting and that could help us and then i'm gonna get my roof piece back here as i had before that's a cute little house this lot is a 20 by 15 which is the smallest lot so we do have to work with this unfortunately so i'm thinking this person just started out university i don't know what their vibes are at all but this is an interesting brick and then i think this sage green is also cute we could use the brick from city living what if we did the yellow now we just need a front door and i want I wonder if I should use a door I never used before and honestly this door is double wide so it does take up a lot of unnecessary space. This is from the movie hangout pad so maybe we could use a lot of that here. I mean they do have a smaller door but it's more of an interior door. Oh but it's cute. I want to use these colors so I'm thinking about using this door swatch or this one. Honestly it has like the pansexual colors so maybe whoever lives here is pansexual. So I might rethink think the colors on our house i mean i do think the yellow is fine but what if we did like a dark blue and then i think i want to go in with some columns what if we did the yellow shingles i think that's cute you can get like a white little trim up there that's different i want this to be very colorful so honestly i don't know if this is a good idea but what if we went for this pink container metal is that like it's cute i think it's cute it has all the right colors we have the pink blue and yellow i think that's nice Ooh, what if we did the blue roof? I kind of like that. Looking at the roof again, maybe I'll split these two up because I don't like the overhang over the over this part. But then this does not line up. Or we could do something like that. I don't know. This is a glass piece. But then you can see this part a little bit. So I'm going to try my best to fix it so just by placing a new roof and then breaking in the eave. I don't know. Is that weird? It is weird. This is a weird house. So I think we can get away with it. So we have our floor. Flooring. Again, we're trying to make this colorful, so like, let's not forget it. There's like a lot of pink and a lot of blue, but not a lot of yellow. Um, surely we can't use that. This is fun. I actually like that. Honestly, this is crazy, but part of me is like, what if I make three of these houses? I can definitely fit three houses here, right? I have three of them, right? And obviously, we should probably change the colors so we could have like a purple one. Maybe we'll do the orange one and then maybe the purple one can be at the end oh i love this idea okay so we do have yellow so i might do yellow and then for the roof there should be an orange swatch yes like this one that is very cute we might keep the blue and then we do have a blue container wall as well i don't think we have a purple roof which is going to be an issue i have no clue what we're going to do about that but maybe we can just do like a black roof i think that's our three houses so i think i'll do orange for this tile and then then I could do like a light blue for this tile. Honestly, I was not planning on doing three houses today, let alone make it a let's build because the whole point of doing like a very small build is I can edit it quickly and maybe they can have their own backyard with a picket fence. And honestly, this might be a good time to save the game. One thing this game has taught me is to basically save frequently. I don't know if they're gonna have like even backyards. Yeah, like this one is already bigger. So maybe both of these people have five, but this one has Six. and maybe we'll get started on the first house and we will need a back door which i kind of forgot about honestly this could be student housing well no because like again i want it to be a tiny home oh you know what i realized like my micro 
your home idea does not matter anymore. You can still get the perks, I guess. So maybe I'll leave it. I don't think I want to make it a residential rental. So like my thought is maybe you buy this lot and you advertise for roommates. I think that could be fun. Maybe this will be our flooring. I don't like the back door situation at all. And honestly, since this is like not our tiny home dream, I might just, I might just pull this in and that will just make our skylight be a little bit bigger. For my wallpaper, I have been thinking about using this one because I think the colors are perfect. I think I want to start off in the kitchen and this island living set is perfect. I think it matches this color pretty well. I'm just a little worried that a bed won't fit, you know, because like look at that. That is not good. I could put it on this side so your sim's just gonna have to walk over, which maybe is not the worst thing in the world. This is a nice color. I think it matches the pink in the wall and the blue in the wall as well pretty well. Just not this bright pink. Honestly, is this rug a little too much with the wallpaper? You probably want a plain rug if we're planning to keep the wallpaper so I can use this one from Nifty Knitting. I just like gave up on the kitchen because I was like where's the bed gonna go? I do realize we have no windows at the moment which we should probably figure out but I think the stove should probably go right here and then we could have the fridge right there. I did size it up with the tool just so there's like no gaps. Might not be good for the back door but we can move that over a little bit. This is a very small house like you don't even have a laptop. That's how bad it is. Part of me is like what if I make it bigger? If I make it bigger that will add like four more tiles so that would honestly not go over the limit. Me making it a little bit more bigger does not go over 64 so honestly that is fine. I feel like if you're doing university that is very important. Maybe I'll do a desk in this house. I don't know if the two tile wide one is not gonna work but we can try it and honestly I need more yellow in here so that might work. That should work right? And I could fit in a bookcase right here but just keep in mind like you'll have to open it and get the books out for your sims or I can move the bookshelf right here and then over here I could put like a dresser maybe if it fits. I am thinking of this one which yeah it does not fit at all. Well I mean it does clip into the wall a little bit but at the same time they still can't get to it so does it really matter that much? I think that's cute. We're gonna keep that. I want to think about when windows now. We could use like the escape window which obviously doesn't matter. You don't need to escape. I guess I can get one above the nightstand. I'm gonna get this cute little curtain. Honestly this one from Movie Hangout we have to use. Oh that matches. Maybe we can use this in like the purple house or something. So what if we did this? This is kind of cute. Maybe I'll move this over a bit just so I can move over the desk so the dresser can like breathe a little bit. And with a home so small I can only imagine they have so much storage space so I think it would be nice to have like these upper cabinets and I think I probably want a tile behind the kitchen so we could do yellow. Yellow is very beautiful. I can't clutter up this counter so maybe I can grab a shelf to clutter and I am going to save my game again. This small plant is 225 simoleons which is kind of crazy and we also have these napkins so hopefully they raise up fine. Um they don't. I can move it down a bit I guess maybe some utensils and it would be nice to get some books so I'm just gonna pretend these are cookbooks maybe they're in culinary school or something maybe they want to be a chef and then up here I guess I can get some like additional books or pans so we have these books from cool kitchen and if they're in culinary school like of course they're gonna need a bunch of pans to cook in maybe they're practicing and I think this is a pretty good kitchen and honestly this is a cute house now I just need to clutter up the desk Ooh, honestly since since they're away from home, it would probably be nice to hang up some photos. So I might just put two of these. They do have to be high up since the desk is like very huge. I can bring them down a little bit more. Maybe we can get like a candle. Like this is cute. That's a cute little guy. Just gonna alt place this which is gonna be very annoying just because this is like a big desk and it has like a second shelf I guess. Like almost like a second story if you want to look at it like that. I don't know why you would look at it like that but that's just what I thought of. And I'll just give them like these little math books. One, they probably need an alarm clock and you can never have too many plants. And that 
might be their desk. It's pretty simple. And honestly, for their backyard space, I am kind of considering shrinking it. So maybe it can be this small. And there's a few things I still want to add. For example, it would be nice to have like a fire alarm. And then we, of course, want a thermostat. Oh, we also need a trash can. Thank goodness I remembered. I think I'll get the yellow and pink one. And then on this wall, we could probably hang up a calendar so they can keep up with their schedule. That might be it for this part of the room. I guess I could get like an entrance mat just so it's not so empty over here. So I did cut off the knobs, but part of me is wondering like, is that fine? Maybe it's one of those sinks where you have to like just put your hand under it and it can censor it. And then of course the shower just goes in the middle. It's a nice shower. Oh, I do have to adjust the roof, of course. I forgot about that. I think I'm gonna add this shelf to the bathroom and a hand towel, of course. And I can't really add in the soap. I just, I can't. That doesn't look good. And then I'm gonna get this thing where you can like put up your mail and put down your bags. And I think that might be it for this whole build. But now we just have to do like the backyard. So I think this is mainly gonna be like landscaping or whatever. And for them, again, I don't know what they do. Um, Maybe they are a chef, but they don't look like a chef. Before we work on the backyard though, I do want to give them their pride flag. So maybe I'll hang it up here. Beautiful. It matches the door perfectly. I don't know about the bed though because it's not that bright pink that we want. I don't want to say they're an artist. Also, I don't think they're a person that cooks. I just built this with no thought of what they do. Maybe this person cooks. Maybe this person is just into movies. And maybe this person is an artist. That's all I can think of. <laughs> maybe they're into music. I think that's what I want. Okay, I figured it out. Should I give them like a DJ booth? Maybe they throw parties in their backyard, which is very small. Like if I extend this, they could definitely be the best party person here. So we could get like a keg. Um, maybe we can get like this keg. It is pink, which is perfect. Hopefully it works like right here. And I want to get the cardboard dance floor because I think that's so cute. Fits perfectly, honestly. So maybe I will put this over here. I'm so indecisive. Usually at parties, I feel like they make you play games, but I don't think we really have the room for a game table. So maybe the game table can go over here and then we'll have like the juice keg station set up over here. And maybe that's all for the party area. So yeah, they're gonna be like the loud neighbors. Also, I have no clue what this is. I don't know why I put that. So this could be part of the yard if we wanted it to be, which might be a good idea. So I think these pretty pink flowers will be perfect for this side of the house. I feel like we should- I'm gonna save my game real quick. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I think we're fine now. I don't know why I'm trying to landscape this part. It's so like small, but I don't think it should be like empty. Like maybe that's fine. I think that is very cute and that might be it for this backyard. I think I'm gonna give them like a community trash can, like a dumpster. Maybe I'll just put it on this side. It's fine. It's fine. Now I want to do the landscaping for the front of the house as well. I'll get the blue flowers on this side. That is the landscaping for the front and this person probably has a bike. I will say like I watched Little Simsy's like short little university let's play she was doing on her Twitch channel and with the bikes it seems so glitchy. I never thought they were that glitchy but usually I don't use them because I just I usually use them just to get the fun up and that's it but wow they seem very glitchy and buggy so that is not good because they'll get on it then they'll get off get on it it's just it's like the same thing with like picking up and putting down the babies but with the bikes they just get on and off is it weird to just put it right there or is that fine i think that's fine and i'm gonna oh save my game why did it do that randomly like it was a little laggy i don't know if you could tell this game scares me too much now we can move on to this orange house so i thought we would use like a bright floor like this i don't know if that's weird but it's very orange toned which i think is good Honestly, I'm not filling the floor. I looked at it too much. The floor is ugly. I am gonna use this flooring instead. And just for a little bit of difference, maybe the bed goes this way. And part of me is like, what if we did a Murphy bed? That will be so different. So that way you have a couch. Cause some people might prefer a couch or just like a couch to sit on basically is what I mean. Like they want both. Maybe we'll use this color. I don't know if that's good. It doesn't match the floor color, which maybe is an issue. 
match you maybe the floor should match this watch like that's kind of close the rug has like a reddish tone whereas the door is more orange so that is interesting but we could go for like these reddish toned counters or we could go for like yellow and keep in mind that this is like the culinary sim so they're all about cooking i kind of like the reddish tone it is speaking to me and i don't know if this is crazy but what if i mixed in the red and the yellow i did give them like the extra storage space just because like if they cook they probably need like a lot of kitchen space to put stuff and i do like the yellow counters with the red tone i think that's very beautiful so that is the kitchen that is very beautiful with the door i feel like we need to have an orange maybe we can make that work with the jungle adventure tile honestly having the blue maybe isn't that big of a deal though, because there's blue in the rug it's just like a different color of blue i'm thinking too much about this so this person doesn't really have enough space for a desk so part of me kind of thinks like maybe they just do their work at the library yeah they're just looking at the refrigerator so <laughs> what if i get rid of the bookcase and maybe it goes like this i just want it to look different from the other house so it's not like the same exact layout if you go in and out of build mode and it's laggy for you i'm so sorry but in order to put the bed down you're gonna have to like put this in your inventory real quick which or maybe not maybe not maybe i'll get the tiny living tv so maybe you don't have to put it in your inventory i think that might be a little bit better and then i want to get these vertical lines from eco lifestyle just to make a little bit of a division i would like for it to match up with this wall honestly i like this little house it's very nice and neat and for them i'm gonna give them like the money trash can just to be nice you know and i think it would be very cool if they had like a wall plant or a hanging plant like that's cute is this wall a little too much i think it's very cute actually i don't know i like this it's very simple i will say compared to the other one because i feel like this one or i feel like this one is more minimalist there's not much clutter going on what if they are on the soccer team like maybe they cook and they play soccer i think that's good so maybe they fish as well so now we're moving on to the bathroom and honestly i think i might use like the same stuff obviously i probably should test this i put a window in the kitchen just not on this wall which i feel like maybe i should so maybe the fish poster can go right here and then this window can maybe go right here so now we can move on to the outside and it would be nice of me to give them like the stand to sell their stuff i guess i can stick it out the back like that won't be a problem and then i can give them like a little gate that they can walk out of and honestly what if they sold pizza maybe we'll do just like the brown one to keep it simple or we could do this one and one thing i learned when playing is that they don't sit at picnic tables or no not picnic tables but they don't sit at umbrella tables that never worked for me so we have to pick a table that is not picnic or an umbrella table so maybe we'll go with these tables i don't think i can fit much chairs here but it will work maybe we'll go with like the dark blue just because there is like dark blue in the door and i'll push this one a little bit further so you can get through the gate maybe this one can go right here i was kind of thinking it would be nice if they had like some gardening pots but they don't have room for that unfortunately and i'll give them a lattice because i think that adds detail to the back and i think it would be fun to add some little candles to the table as well for their little garden i'm thinking we do like orange and blue i think these are the blue flowers that i want and that is very simple for them so i think that is their landscaping which is very fun I'm gonna save our game and now we just have one more house to do so i said this person is a movie person so i think it would be probably fun if they have like a movie night and invite all of the other students obviously this is a tiny home so not all of the students but maybe just some like maybe with their friends and i was thinking of using this projector from the little campers kit like i won't say it won't work but you know it's a very small back here but yeah like that could work i believe but yeah i want to use this dresser for sure i am trying to think of different layouts of course because again i don't want it to be this exact same in every area but what if they have like a smaller kitchen that could help us out this bed from city living might work because i don't know this color goes very well especially with the rug or maybe the pink is a little too bright for me so maybe i'll go for this color and I know this is weird but maybe the bed is just right here when you walk in I know that's weird don't come for me okay and maybe the dresser is like kind of a separator or maybe not I want to use this but I don't think it's a good separator they're a movie person
person, right? And I feel like if it's raining outside, they probably don't want to watch movies outdoors. So I kind of wanted to give them like a living room. It's just, I don't know if we have enough space for that, especially not a three-seater. We definitely don't have space for a three-seater. That could be fine, right? I'm going to scoot it close to the bed as much as I can get it. Maybe we can size down the rug. This is a small TV, unfortunately, but it works. It works okay. You want to know what doesn't work? This dresser. I want to use it so bad. What if I put the bed right here? The dresser goes right here. You can walk past that surely, right? Like even if I push it against the wall a little bit, I'm pretty sure that works. I'm doing all of this just to have a TV space. And honestly, this can scoot. And they also don't have a computer, but that's fine. They go to the library. It's a reason to get out. I've been using the eco lifestyle flooring for each home, so maybe I'll keep that going. So I decorated the nightstand pretty simple. And for the kitchen, maybe I'll give them like a microwave. And then this part bothers me because like, I don't know, it's just a gap and I hate gaps. Maybe I can use like a side table to like help. Like it is clipping in with the fridge, but we'll play test and see if that works. Honestly, I think these cabinets are so ugly. Like not even just because of the color. If I changed it to like a white, I still think it's ugly. Ooh, I think this would be perfect in this house. Just look at the colors on it. And then we can get like a movie poster. Oh, this is cute. Or we could choose a different color if we feel like it's too much. I do feel as though we do need an accent wall. So maybe we can choose like this purple color. That matches very well with the door actually. Maybe we'll do this tile because the dark blue is kind of cute. Okay, so that is the bathroom complete. I might get like a little entrance mat and I think we are all set. Well, actually I do need to get like a trash can in here. So maybe we're not all set. I guess it will fit over here. Here. I don't have to do that. Maybe that's good. Like that's cute, right? They're away from home so I'll give them photos. Now we can work on the backyard area which I think will be very fun. It won't be fun when this breaks because of the rain though. You're just gonna have to like put this in your inventory if you don't want to repair it every single time. Or you could repair it because it's a small home and it will get your skill up if you do it yourself. And honestly these chairs are definitely not meant to be outside but I kind of like it. Maybe I can get something better than a microwave. I mean, if they love movies, they have to have a popcorn maker, right? That is just the rule. And I think it might be nice to just get like a little lantern so it's like not so dark out here. And I think that is the whole house. I'm gonna save my game again. I think I want to go in and change the lighting just because I never do this. I never go back in and be like, oh, let's change the lighting. Like, that's not me. So maybe for this house, I'll use this light. And I think that it's good. And then for this house, ooh, maybe I can use these orange lights. Oh, maybe they come down a little bit too low. Or I could use these orange lights from high school years. I think that's pretty. And now we just have to do the landscaping for the last house and we can start placing our trees as well. Oh, like this is cute, right? It's not the right purple. This is the right purple, but I never used the darker purples before. And then maybe we can use like a brighter blue color. Maybe we can use these. It's different from the one I used next door. Ooh, these are pretty. I love these flowers from Romantic Garden. I might use it on this side as well. I think that's very pretty. So I think that's the landscaping complete. So we need to get trees but first I want to get them a welcome mat. So that one can have like a purple welcome mat and then maybe this one on the end can have like a blue welcome mat and that is good. I always save the trees for last. Ooh, So we can put like a couple of these like beautiful flower trees. I would also love to give the other university students bikes as well. I'm pretty Pretty sure this is clipping in with the fence but I don't care honestly. So this one can have like ooh this one it has like stickers on it. That is cute. What if I gave them the colorful one? I think that's cute. And then maybe there's like a purple. I'm gonna give them the flaming blue one. I think that's cute. I haven't used these trees in a while I feel like so I kind of want to bring them back. And then part of me is like what if I get like a pink tree to match the tree back there. Maybe that's better. It's not clipping as much. Right? I love this. I honestly I honestly had no idea of what kind of house I was going to build when I built this. It was kind of like, oh, I'll just go with the flow. Like, I'll just build a box. It's fine. But I think these houses are very cute. I should probably paint the ceiling. And for me, I don't really think about it. I just use the same flooring I use for the ground. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Maybe it is. We just need to do terrain paint. So I'm going to put terrain paint under like the tiling, under these flowers, and then maybe where the bike is a little bit. Honestly, if I'm gonna bring a sim here, maybe I shouldn't be doing 
game terrain paint. We all know this game and how it likes to reset terrain paint. And that is all of the terrain paint, I believe. So little update, I did do play testing. Um, if you're wondering why there's leaves on the ground, it's because I play tested. So in this house, I did have to change something. I had to move where the stove is because the bed was in the way. And I had to like turn the side table that I put because the fridge wouldn't work because it was like too, I guess, deep into the fridge. And I think that is about, actually, no, that's not about it. I had to get rid of this item because it was in the way so they couldn't like place food on this counter. So I had to delete this. I thought it was the bags because they do kind of like stick out a little bit more. But no, it's this one because it has like a bigger footprint for whatever reason. So I had to delete those from two of these houses. And yeah, that's the only issue I had. So now they are functional. The bathrooms do work. And if you want to download this, it is on my gallery ID at Sims Delicious. Um, this is what it looks like. I just named it Honeydew Micro Homes. But I'm gonna leave this video off here. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. You are important. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!